here. I'm on the line. Time for some painting. Move up here and fiddle with my camera angles, trying to get things closer. Today I'm going to start with the painting, then I'm going to take a brief break to do some building because I'm going to finish this guy off tonight. I don't actually have that much left to do. Just got these and like this elbow, so that's coming along. All of the colors are here. White, gray, black, more white. Don't need too much paint though. I think that's going to be about all I need to polish this guy off, honestly. There's very little left to do on him. Well, actually, I may need a little bit more than that. We'll see. Tiny bit of gray. So that is a little bit of transparent white. I'll bring the palette over in a second so you can see it. Not a whole lot, just a little. Can sorta of see that there. Ooh. Eh, that's kinda eh, it might be too might be too close. Whatever, it's fine. Alright. Oh shit, I gotta go uh I just got put some water in my palette. One second. It's completely dry. Insane how dry it is in here right now, and it's cold. We got snow coming down out there. It's crazy. It's awful. All right, I'm gonna finish this guy off. First is just the elbow. Not too much to do here. Moisten that paint up a little. Oh, great. Now I'm. There we go. Good amount of paint there. Just go like this now. Quick little wet blend there. Just get like the absolute basis of it here. This thing's getting real close to being done. Be the first model I finished in like two months or something like that, almost three. It's crazy. This, uh, going real slow for a while. I lost my motivation a little bit around Christmas and stuff like that, and then it just took me a while to pick things back up. Happens so. Uh, Pull that down a little bit more. Oh, great, now I, I adjusted my camera a little bit. Now it's like too close. It needs to be somewhere in between, like almost like this. Like that might be good. That gets up here if I hold up there. Let me just rotate this a tad. There we go. I think that's pretty good. Okay. Got that elbow coming together now. A little bit more moisture on there. Trying to pull all this pigment up towards the brightest point, which is just going to be like right on that 
edge of the elbow here because the rest of this is all just underside so I'm just going to leave it mostly gray I like to extend the highlight a little bit further down just along the edges like that make it look a little bit like circular or something I don't know then here It's just kind of hitting the top down like that. Try and get that sort of effect there. Even if it's not perfect, it's pretty close. Right along here a little bit, and just down right along here a little bit like that edge, that edge highlight just down towards the bottom. I'll try and move the palette up into view in a second here. I'm just not sure if it's gonna fit. All in because I'm trying a different camera angle today. Keep moving this up and out like that. Already getting pretty close there. Yeah, bring the palette over and see. This should be okay actually. You can only see some of it like that. It also will force me to push my hands back into the camera because I can't lean out or can't do it any too awkward. This is a little bit waterier than it should be, but I think it's fine, honestly. Dampen that up and then just keep moving that up. Let that dry. Do this here. Ah, ah, you know what? This is fine. Yeah, this is fine. Start with this. Obviously want this to be like maximum brightness up top here like this. Then we'll just work the highlight down as we go. I should be able to just go like this. A little bit here. Get a little bit of gray here. This is a bright neutral gray again. All pro krill all the time, pretty much all I use. I just want to highlight this down here like this and like this. Down the sides are fine. A little bit more over on this side. The 
like a decently long working time on that. These a few games of workshop paints, a few other brands, mostly just ones I've been picking up to try. See how they are. Most of what I use is all just uh all just pro acryl. Try to smooth that out just a little bit and then I'll be able to properly highlight that up. There we go. And I can basically just do this. Just up on the top here is gonna be the widest point, and then a little bit spread out there, and then I'll just uh, like glaze it over. Not really a glaze, I think. I think it's hard to glaze with white paint. Better to glaze with darker paint, but principle is basically the same. And we're carrying on. Start with that and we'll see where we go. Um, Oh Jesus, is that gray or black? I guess black paint is just kind of... I want to just do it like a really thin black line here. Tiniest little bit here and then I'll do a little more gray in there. Oh, this is not even in the camera. Okay. That's fine. Pin the wrists. Still practicing my technique here at holding the models for maximum stability. Okay, yeah, that's good. Now just edge highlight all around and then we'll do this. Uh, I'm like totally outside of the thing. Gotta bring it closer. Not really gonna be able to see the palette that much, but that's fine. It's just when I'm like holding it close like this, you don't really get to Yeah, I just have to lean forward a little, I think. Try to get a little bit there, basically, like that. A little bit like that. Then here. Trace the uh, angle of the light here is a little bit weird. I need like a top, more of a top-down angle there. Just like really fine highlights in here. Nothing too crazy basically, just go there and there and then 
just around the edge of the gold thing and then just down at the bottom it'll sort of be grayed out and maybe just these little bolts to give them a little bit of contrast and then I'll just uh, I'll just blend that a little bit and then I think we'll be good to go alright kind of to rub any gold paint off his uh, the weapon. I just try and uh, blend this up a little. Up. No, that's out of the camera. No, that's fine. Let that dry up. Go back to the elbow for a bit while that's drying. Basically just keep moving this up like this, except that you can't see, so I'm going to change that back just a little bit. There we go. Let me get this, let's see, from here. Transparent white. See how that looks. Good thick coat. Almost creates like a fake blend. See how that looks in a second. Just trying to be real focused and calm and fat, like not fast, sorry, the other way. The other one's slow with this to not screw anything up because these are like the final phases of this model and I don't really want to have to redo it anymore. Try to touch a little bit of that up under there. random little bits of color that are screwing with my gray paint. Make sure I don't accidentally screw anything else up. From here, more transparent white. Really uh, just cover the, the blend there with it. Try and make it look smooth. Nice thick coat. Just coat it up to the blend. See how that is. The underside of this wrist just needs an edge highlight. Just like right here, basically. 
a good little bit of an upper highlight there, but just that I think. Maybe just a tiny little bit along the edge down here. I don't even know if it needs that honestly, but I like to edge highlight those little bits just in case. Okay, and this I'm just gonna touch this up a little bit, get it real bright up top here like this, on the edge here, on the highest points, just around that. Just make it look nice and even there. Don't want any little bits like gray peeking through basically. Same with here. Ooh, careful with that. There we go. Oh, hot diggity dog. I'm outside the camera again. All right, anyways, not much left to do here. to have this one done this one even just one of these annihilators they've been a slog these things absolutely gutted my motivation around Christmas time it's just like so much armor to paint the first time I did them I was going a lot quicker and being a lot more careless which is fine because I was still learning and developing my own technique for painting white armor but now it's just like oh my god Every single one of these takes forever. Just absurd amounts of fiddly detail. Uh, things get a little bit dangerous in here while I'm just cleaning this up. I don't actually want this to be such a thick shadow there. Only so much I can thin out though without risking like Uh, this is I'll try and get this in here, but My face is on the phone, but I don't want to move because I'm just being real careful here. Well, I was down there and noticed this was just a little bit weird. Smooth that out just a tad. Make that look a little more. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just mindlessly fiddling with that. That's fine the way it is, honestly. All right. A little bit more in here. I just gotta level off this gray here. 
Let's see a spot there where the gray isn't even. It's like a dark patch sticking through. All right, we're nearly done. God, no. I was going to get in there and start fiddling even more. But no, I don't think I will. Totally fine there. A little bit more there. Hmm. I'm not sure if you can see right now. I'm just real really focusing on this if you can't see well unlucky okay I think that's looking even enough to me maybe just a little bit more on this one I can never be sure how smooth it's going to be until it dries Sometimes it looks real good while it's wet, and then it's like, ah, shit, it dries. All that moisture gets out of there, the pigment settles, and you still have to do a little bit more fiddling. Okay. Happy with that for now. Okay. Now the part I've really been putting off is... Yeah, I'll move that backs of these leg plates. So let's start with the bottom part here. Something like this I think. Much on there as I can. I'll absolutely have to change that just a little bit but that's fine. Start blending a little bit. that around there, that around there, and then up top a little bit white paint I think. I'll just try and do a full like uh, highlight up here like this. Just these highest points like so. And as this comes around down here it should fade away basically. Same with down here. Fade away in towards here, I think. Something like that, and then maybe even this needs to be a little bit highlighted, but not too much. <sighs> okay. it in. Then that's got to brighten that up all up and around there. Let that dry. This can be totally dark in there because it's just on the underside. I actually have to get a little more white paint for this guy to polish this off. As I notice, like if I notice I'm out of camera, I'll try and move it back in best I can. Hmm. I'm pretty happy with that so far. 
with just how that sort of like guide highlight or whatever has turned out. You can basically just start going like this now that this is dry. Start blending that up. Here towards the top as well, just towards the highest points. Down towards the high, towards the, I mean, it's sort of the high, like it's the lowest point down there, but it's like a raised point. I don't know how to say it. It's raised on the low plane. And down here as well. I guess I'll finish this highlight like this and just actually make that solid white there. And up here. Despite maybe not being completely accurate, I think it's fine like this. It's sort of a raised surface there. I need a little white paint. Took a little bit less than I needed. Keep working our way around this, building that up, that blend. And this really, because I actually want this to be a little bit brighter towards the bottom because that's sort of how, where the sun would be hitting it in the bottom of this uh, concave section. Maybe a little bit over here as well. There we go. I'm gonna go like a real sturdy highlight here. And same with along here. A lot of paint here along the top. Maybe not quite that much. <laughs> really brighten these sort of high points though where these highlights are going to be hitting the strongest I think this, just a tad like that maybe, fill that out a little bit and that out a little bit. And then this I'm going to go transparent white again, once that dries, I'll let it dry a little bit. Actually need a little transparent white up on this as well.
Let's move that forehead a little bit too. Excellent. I think that's starting to dry a bit, so now I can get a good coat here. Same with in here. Goal of this is to just let it bring all of the janky highlights to the surface. I don't know why it does, but for some reason when I get a coat of transparent white on it, I can really see a lot better what's wrong with the the blending where I've screwed up the blends. Parts I'm missing, just something about it, like maybe makes the light reflect different refract differently. I don't know, whatever. Something like that. Anyways. So one of the high points. See this beautiful. I can actually already see just like a weird spot there. gray in there. Try to spread that out a little bit and smooth that. You can go like layer on layer on layer with these things honestly it's not too... don't really need to worry about putting the paint on too too thick. Smooth that out a little bit. Move down to the really small brush now. Just to try and smooth out these last couple blends. This one on the inside doesn't matter too much. It's not really that noticeable. It's a little bit weird. This is a good highlight up top again. And down the bottom. A little bit right there. I think we'll call that leg plate basically done. It's very fine. Just darken this down just a tiniest bit here in the middle. The tiny bit of gray back in there. So 
Let's add a little bit more contrast there. And he'll kind of look like he is. Got a bit of shadowing there where that leg is uh, angled downwards. Beautiful. Boop. You can sort of see the shading a little bit there. Alright, we're on to the final, the final plate here, the last piece of this guy, the leg plate there. So for this guy, I want mostly here to be white, and all down here, and all along here. And then I'll do the top as sort of a separate highlight. Eh, maybe I won't, maybe I'll just do this like this. Ah, oh, fuck me, whatever, doesn't matter. Screw that up a little bit, but I can fix that later. I got the right colors and everything. Got a whole bunch of this here. Start to blend that. And that and that and that all along there and then that'll be good then I just gotta fix that weird uh, I just flooded out this one line that I had but that's fine I'll do that after up here I just want to do this it's gonna be totally white up here honestly I don't even care doesn't need to be perfect and it doesn't need to look perfectly natural. It's just got to look close so that from arm's length it looks good. That's the important part. This is tabletop standard here. Okay. So here now, I'm just basically going to edge highlight like half of this. Christ, that angle is terrible. Sorry, right, I can fix that. I think basically just like that in there. And the same with this here. Fill on the bottom. Like this. A little bit more like this. Fill in all these brightest points. find this part to be difficult is these, these like little leg plate parts here real tricky to get the highlighting properly in there but I think that's pretty good hmm. so I'm just taking one quick little detour of that while that dries to touch up this elbow a little. I saw a few things I wasn't super happy with. 
pretty much always just trying to, whenever something's drying, take that as an opportunity to look at other things and see where I can improve. See if maybe there's something I missed on a different part. Something like that, a little uneven paint, something like that, you never know, right? This shit here, I'm still not that happy with, but that is what it is at this point. Smooth that out a little bit, that's fine, honestly. These things are so hard to see, some of these little bits. You'd really have to be going over with a fine tooth comb to notice some of these wonky things. And it's all shit that I'll just eventually improve at anyway. Okay. Now, is this black line or is this gray? This is gray. So this is a dark, warm gray, but just the tiniest little dot. Alright. Please, no mistake. Very calm, very chill. Hold your breath while you do it. Go slow. All you can do. <laughs> Whew, all right. Black line's done there. I just gotta finish off this blend and this guy's done, honestly. A few more minutes, well, I mean, effectively done. I usually take one more pass at it after my eyes have had a chance to rest because there's only so much uh, staring at white armor plates that you can really do in one sitting. So I usually come back after my eyes have had a chance to like readjust to normal colors. Pretty much just always pull towards the brightest point when you're doing this pull the paint towards the brightest point because that's where it's going to settle the most pigment where the brush lifts off right in that lower part and just the top edge here should be bright and then this flat edge here I think I don't know if this is like exact, but it's all just guesswork anyway. Highlighting like this, at least for me. Oh, I'm out of the frame. Ah, oh, I'm still out of the frame. I'm back in the frame. Beautiful. I really need to get a little bit more down here, like this. There we go. And up here, like this. Try and make that look even. Like an even, smooth gradient. And this one, I'm just trying to make it look real bright there. That's just like the outermost part. Keep moving this as I go. And one last thing, I kind of want to do like oh god, oh, there's dust, it's so dusty in here. Come on. Where is a tiny, like several tiny red fibers coming from? Just out of nowhere. I doubt you'd be able to even see that on the camera. There's like some tiny little red fibers that just like floated down and landed on my model. It landed right in the wet, wet paint perfectly.
a little bit more here and then I'm almost done here calling it a soft done you know pretty soon Damn, my eyes are getting dry. A little more here. Hide everything with transparent white. Ah. Every mistake. Code it in transparent white. Everything that looks weird, transparent white. Okay. For now, that's done. And then this guy here. Do this. I use it almost like a wash sometimes. The transparent way, but only for these blends. I'll basically just like wash over the blend with like a real thick coat and then let it sort of fall into the, the low points. I don't really know how I use it, honestly. I've just... Move it around a little bit in there and then let that dry and take one more look at it and then I'll call this guy done. I've been working on these annihilators for months. Started in December, then I took, well, I took about two months off. So I did like a solid like two and a half weeks of painting on them, and then I took a couple months off. So this guy's like I just, sort of just started on his white armor. Everything else is done, hammers and stuff, shoulders, whatever else, metallics. That's all done. I have a long slog ahead of me though. That's for sure. But the retributors go faster. I think they should. They've got a lot more like um, trim, which I find to not take actually that long. Gold trim is pretty quick to paint compared to the white. Laying down just like the thinnest of the layer of pigment there. And same with here. Yeah, I think I call that done. <clears throat> Alright, there's an annihilator finished. I'll let him dry, take one more look at him, and then take some pictures from my Instagram. It's the first one I'll be able to post in a long time. Post anything on Insta for ages. Sick. I put that guy, that's for sure. Number two. Probably won't start on this guy tonight. <laughs> yeah, maybe a little bit. Maybe I'll do like one little bit, a little bit of cleanup or something on him. I'm just gonna move this guy over. Check it out. Done. Oh, there we go. Nice clean white plates. Cool glowing hammer. Lightning on the shoulders. Not non-metallic metal, but 
I, I never do like NMM. I always do uh, just true metallics. But oh fuck me, he's not done. Oh, I screwed up. Son of a bitch. Alright. Briefly, he's going back on here. I knew I was forgetting ooh, something. I knew it in the back of my mind. Which you'll see in a second. And I think pink. I think these will be the colors for it here. Maybe just a little bit of white. I already have the white out. So. Go burnt red here, not burgundy. I might do all three of these at the same time. Tiniest little bit of red. Tiny little bit of this red. <clears throat> Come on. A little bit, don't need too much. Just like half a drop there. Actually, just whatever's there is enough. Tiny little bit. Still no follow goal. Yeah, 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 yeah. Everyone, everyone who's into painting knows what a wet palette is, you know. Oh, that's too much pink. Whatever, it doesn't matter. That's way too much pink. Uh, I'm not making any colors here. I'm, I'm doing the jams on their little fucking things here. These annoying little bastards here. Like lapel gems, or whatever you want to call them. Duncan, you're out of frame. Yeah, I know. There. I thought you didn't like watching my stream. <laughs> I thought you said you never watch my stream. You're never in chat. You're not a chatter. You're not a Twitch viewer. Uh, I gotta do this for all three of them, so it is too much paint, but it's fine. It's like literally in the grand scheme of things, that's like, like, not even half a drop. These bottles hold so much paint. Sometimes you just gotta take way too much paint out. I think that is one of the downsides of the dropper bottle. Is that you just always, almost always get a little bit more paint. Yeah, what do you mean? I'm in frame. I don't know what frame you're looking at, huh? No, you're there, you're out of frame. Uh. Uh-huh. Check the VOD. Nah, nah. Here's what I'm gonna do. There. That's in frame. That's in frame. This guy should go over here. I don't want to accidentally get paint on him. And that's in frame. There you go. <laughs> How else am I supposed to uh, know what's in frame or not? Prime out here. He also has a super annoying little gem. Uh, oh, really? All of my viewers? I'm pretty sure Oscar's in here. I don't know if he's actually got the sound on. That's fine. Enjoy. No, stay in chat. I need viewers. <laughs> Give me your Twitch Prime, even though I don't have a sub button.
Okay. Now, I guess I'll let that dry for a bit. This one's dry. You know, I'm not even. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna keep swapping them in out of the paints now. Fuck it. Just gonna hold them by the base. It's too annoying. Knock a little bit of that red off like that. And then do the higher points here like this. You can do all the red on one side, but just make sure you leave a little bit of that dark red around the base on especially on the top. You can go bright red all the way down to the bottom because it should get brighter towards the bottom basically. If the light goes bright towards the bottom then you just want like a white highlight along the top. With gems. It should always get brighter towards the bottom. I'm not out of frame. Now you're angry. No, I was in frame. I think you're just seeing just when I'm pulling my hands away or something. Just when I put the model down or something, because I can see where I'm in frame now. Oh, that's out of frame a little bit, but it's just if I hold it too high. All the way down to the bottom here, nice and bright. Like that. Last one here. Okay. Now let's go down towards the bottom here. I'm gonna mix a little bit of red and pink here. Get a reddish pink. That is actually out of frame. Always going brighter towards the bottom. It's the key. This one's out of frame too, but it's fine. That's out of frame for sure, but it's okay. I'll show it off once it's done. I got too much on my uh, on my desk here to worry about being in frame all the time. Okay, now like this, one last line here down towards the bottom. A little bit there. 
a little bit more white there. There. So close. And finally, the last little thing you do on these gems is a tiny little white dot right there. I think. Close enough. Sometimes I still haven't quite figured the positioning. That was a little bit off, but I think you want to just streak it like there. Like that. So I actually gotta get just a little bit more along that. It's almost gotta be like a little line. Just a little fine. Oh, well, that's way too much. Holy shit, did I ever goof that one? Hey, yeah, maybe it works out. I don't care. No, I do care. I have to fix it. That should be all right. There we go. All right. All the little crystals are done. Hopefully I didn't knock any paint off these guys. I'm gonna have to, a couple of these guys, I'm gonna have to like brush them off. They're pretty dusty. They've been sitting out for a while before I carry on working on them. Just gonna go back for now. Don't think I'm gonna do any more painting tonight. Finished Annihilator. Jam is complete on his chest plate, his lapel thing. Really doesn't look that much different, honestly, <laughs> than when it was just uh, like blanket painted over with gold, base coated with gold. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with that how, uh, how that guy turned out. I'll take one more pass at him like later just to polish it off, but I'm gonna put him in the display case for now. I'm gonna show you the display case so I keep my army. One second. Is that on my power button? No, it's not perfect. Okay, sick. Happy to have the annihilator out of the way, man. Those things were taking forever. Brushes are clean enough. I'm just gonna wipe. Just give them a little rinse. I don't need to like uh, soap them or anything. Make sure there's no little nubs of paint in there. So. Last thing I'm gonna do tonight for a Warhammer is just finish building this last bird and then I'm gonna probably call it on the Warhammer for tonight. Uh, I got one bird left. It is Etherwing 1E. It is a four-parter. 
9, 10, 11, and 12. So they should all be on this sprue. <laughs> We have got 9, 10, 11, and JK. It's 9, 9, 9, 9, 9. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, I didn't get these ones. Price has a lot of attachment points for one bird. Alright, 9. 50 bop. Ten. Sip. Eleven. Sip at. song look at that four pieces easy all oh, these little bits off this should take more than about 10 minutes to finish this bird off and I'll have three birds Whee. Put uh, Annihilator number two up here for now as well. Hopefully, in a manner that doesn't send him flying across the living room. <sighs> Annihilator number three can go up on this one. Boys are ready for painting. All right. All right, let's, let's focus up here with the exact one. If I don't accidentally slice my finger off. The amount of times I have absolutely mangled myself with these things. Holy. I stab myself like straight into the palm. Slice my finger open. Uh, poke myself with a tiny one, like in the pinky, I think. Like in the tip of the finger. Had all sorts of uh, Warhammer building injuries grave injuries with these things bird you cannot have enough bird in your army that's for sure They just need like a Birdman faction, honestly. Let's not break all the branches off that tree. Let's not accidentally destroy it. Two. Three. Tree's got a lot of weird nubs. Three, there we go. Boom. Okay. Just smooth that out. Pretty sure I'm in frame here, right? Yeah. Alright. Not much to do here. Pretty much just smooth these down best you can. Nothing too crazy. Birds have got lots of feathers, so 
few mold lines kind of blend in, honestly. <laughs> Just give these a rough scrape, honestly. Nothing too... Nothing too precise. Pretty sure I just said honestly about four times. Brain got caught in a loop there. As can happen when you're focusing. Trying not to cheese grate my finger with this exacta. These are all okay, none of these need to be too scraped. Just real gentle, like, make sure there's no like weird little bits of plastic hanging off. A couple mold lines along here probably, I don't think I'll do the end of the tail, those feathers are pretty thin. Bird. I missed a nub here under his chin. Nearly shaved the end of my thumb off just now. There are a few nasty mold lines here, but I don't think they're going to be too visible. It's mostly those like major ones there. This is fine. This is underside. Top side here is fine. No mold line there. Just a little bit where I sliced it unevenly right here. Yeah, an underside. No, no real mold line. I did a pretty good job on on this one, they didn't really, uh, didn't really, um, have too many visible. They're pretty well hidden. Some models are really well hidden on, and some they're just abysmal. Some you get mold lines like way on the, like on a flat surface, like, I don't know. It's crazy. Weird little bit right there. I don't know what that is, but that's fine. Somebody's grabbing the thing. Brush this down. I don't think I'm gonna even bother sanding this one, honestly. Fairly smooth. If I see anything weird before I paint them, I'll take a look and uh, polish it up. Let's get this going and just let him dry. A pretty good amount of cement on these little bird guys just so that these uh, gaps and the feathers will seal up nicely even here I can actually you can actually just drip a little bit more in there and around there drop my phone everywhere but let's try and get a better view of the whole workspace here while I'm doing this I like things to be a little further out when I'm scraping and building a little bit of mold line on the tree but nothing too crazy here
Nothing that's really going to stand out too much. These aren't really even worth scraping down, these little nublet things. And this kind of looks like part of the bark. Fairly well hidden, so I'm just going to leave that one. Just smooth that out a little bit. And one in here. And you know what, a little bit in here that I'll scrape. I'll actually rough this up a little bit. Sometimes if you rough this up, it actually looks uh, looks a little bit more natural with these tree pieces, I think. Not that you'd see, see that really through the paint, but you know everything helps. Pretty much just do a little test fit here. Is that actually how it goes? Yeah. Bizarre. Let me just take a look at the instructions real quick before I start bungling around. Oh, like, yeah, like that. Utterly weird. But that's fine. Okay, close down real quick. Don't spill glue everywhere. That's a very important step. Definitely do not spill half a bottle of plastic cement all over the table. Quite a bit of glue though, just so it all squeezes out and seals any gaps in the tree. Oddly shaped tree. Not actually too thrilled with how that fits together. Did I screw that up or did I? No. It is correct. It just fits weirdly. That's so strange. Maybe I, uh, maybe there's something that I missed or like maybe there's a, a little sprue nub or something that I missed that caused that. Or maybe it's just an old fat cast model from 2016 or 2017 and it doesn't fit together that well like some of these don't. A lot of these old storm cast models have really bizarre fits honestly. Even like modern ones, um, Lord and Periton had one of the worst I've seen in terms of like just fitting strangely. The cloak had huge gaps. I had no idea how to get them to fit like in a nice fashion. Think about this, if it fits a little bit weird, you just put a lot of glue in there and actually like really dissolve that plastic. And then as it dries down, it'll kind of just look like natural bark formations. This glue is pretty good at that. I like this better than the Games Workshop glue. It's just like the uh, Tamaya Extra Thin or whatever. Hell yeah, I'm using glue. Not too much. Well, a bit. <laughs> it'll all air out. Well, yet another just terrible fit on this tree. These uh, Etho wings have had like such strange fitting parts. 
just odd joints really finicky fiddly bullshit pieces I'm gonna have to fill that with sprue goo later oh this goes like this I get it bizarre The thing about trees is it can be sort of bulbous and weird, honestly, with a part of a model. And it's all base anyway, so I can just cover it in mud. True, ventilation. Maybe I'll just do my Warhammer out on the balcony. <laughs> You'd like that, wouldn't you? that dry for just a minute or two and then I'll attach the bird. There's one more bird but it's a bird that sits on the guy's arm. He's got an arm bird. Because he's gonna be a long strike so the long strike prime gets uh, an arm bird. Lots of extra crossbow bits which is nice. Oh that's not enough thing. You see the parts of the arm bird there. A little more under there. Loosens it up a little bit. Makes it take a little bit longer to dry, but it also will melt a bit more of the plastic in there as it dries. Does it actually go all on the top like this? Utterly weird. I guess I get it. See that really annoying attachment to the see where that goes. Definitely not sticking this ether wing on until this glue is sealed up just a little bit more. Just take a minute. Whew. Start planning out the next stages of these guys. I got a brush that I use here. Is this brush to dust off my models because this is a brush that never gets paint on it. So I can dust this down. Make sure there's not too much dust on them before I really get started ripping on the uh, on the final phases here. Yeah, the hammer's got hella dust. I better dust the other one off before I uh, take pictures of it, because he's probably totally caked in dust here, the parts I haven't brushed recently. All that dust out of there. Nice. Definitely got a little bit of dust under the paint here. It doesn't really matter. Like on the back here, you can see one or two fibers under there. It was pretty hard to avoid sometimes, especially if you're in a dusty environment. Kind of just gives it texture, and then when you varnish the models, you don't even really see it. 
right. He's dusted off. See how these guys are coming together. Yo, what up, what up? Oh, I didn't realize you were gone the whole time. How much fire would you buy? I'm just finishing up here. I, uh, and then I was gonna hop over to some Tarkov, maybe. Mayhaps. I'm trying to piece together how this bird is supposed to go. Oh my god, dude. Let's just YOLO it. You starting a big fire, or what, big bonfire? In the, uh, in the old apartment? Bro, these birds are the most inconvenient things to put in. I swear to God, I'm too clumsy for this shit, dude. Oh, nice, glue everywhere, excellent. Okay, one down here. Oh my god, dude. I bungled the one yesterday so badly. I was hoping I would not repeat it again today. Okay, that's not so bad. That was a little bit better. The one yesterday I really bungled. This shit took me four tries to get that god thing, goddamn thing together, dude. This one I just spilled a little bit of glue on the cardboard, but that dries up super quickly. Alright. Oh my god, I got the fan going, it's fine. that I now have three birds I really don't think some some of these models I don't think they ever even considered the mechanics of building and playing them when they like oh wow this would be a cool model oh look at this and then it's like you fucking put this shit together and it's like super spindly really inconvenient the joins are like terrible hard to know how these things are gonna even fit but they are cool models I like the ether wings What's WSBC? Oh, WorkSafe BC. Oh, well, it's a good thing this isn't a job, you know? With two viewers, this is definitely not a job. Jiggly birds. Yeah, jiggle, 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 jiggle. They make the camera focus here. One second, one second. Boing, 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 boing. I'll paint these ones soon. I think once I finish the annihilators, I'll paint these guys if I need a break from the the next squad. Blue's done. Put away for the night. Cool. That is it for the Warhammer. I'll probably switch over to Tarkov in a few minutes. If anyone's watching, thanks for tuning in. Uh, if anyone's watching the VOD on YouTube, come check me out on Twitch. Usually 7 p.m. most weekdays. It'll be in my schedule. Twitch.tv slash blap blap diddly doodly, which is not my Instagram handle, so. It'll all be linked somewhere. <laughs> Later.